morning guys i am showing you my juki my best friend for life um this is actually a gift um before my late husband died he bought me this because i expressed that i really wanted to try making my own handbags and said okay let's go buy this machine i had the choice to like the option to buy the one with the industrial one versus this is why I don't want the industrial one because I want something that I can carry with me. So this is it. That mess is it's a mess <laughs> because I finally finished my handbags. Let me show you. energy yes um i am going to show you what i've completed just today actually it is three nights and a little bit of a few minutes today to, to finish this trap but here it is let me do it like this Dun -dun -dun. it is a um, macy bowler bag by Swoon Patterns. So let me just hold it like that. I completed this cute thing. So I actually, um, I've been making bags before, just a hobby kind of wanted to try it and stopped and then this is considered um, my first uh, time making a bag. Maybe not the first because I've already showed you the top, the big one. But this is the first time that I made a bag out of like all vinyl, um, not cotton fabric kind of thing. So and including the lining, I used the waterproof canvas. So they're all new to me. And it's also the first time that I used the um, table press. So let me see. This one, this is a marine vinyl that I got from Juan's. This is kind of a faux, kind of leather faux, a vinyl from Hobby Lobby. So I'm not crazy about this, but this is what's available for me that I can just buy, go to the Hobby Lobby and, buy, and just bought it on sale. And then I added piping, which is crazy because it was difficult, but I really wanted to have a piping in this bag, but it was hard. I know how to put piping in clothes with no problem except for bags because they're too thick and then i i just use like a pre like this one it's just the zipper is just from the hobby lobby that it says oh uh, no not hobby lobby yeah hobby lobby that says you know for a purse and just put this joanne's nothing really special like it's all available like um yeah, I over I put too much rivets on the handle because I don't trust the rivets. Uh, it's a cheap one that I got from Amazon, so I don't trust it. So that's why I want to do to really secure. Uh, I add more to this too. I don't think I like the look, but it's okay. That this makes this bag unique, right? And then I have rivets here too. I decided not to put the pocket. The design calls for the pocket, but I followed a tutorial on YouTube and they both decided not to put the pocket. So I'd like that too, because I don't really need uh, out the exterior pocket. And I, I only purchased like half a yard of this marine vinyl and I cut it in a way that um, um, it won't let me provide an uh, material enough material for straps so i just decided i have lots of this material material and decided to use this for the strap as well but i really prefer to have a red strap bag ran out of material so and then i ordered a logo but it hasn't come yet it came from it comes from hong kong so i'm still waiting for it so instead i used the handmade let's open this bag i used a waterproof canvas this is not included in the pattern but i like the idea so i added that 
here's my logo that's my name maria soya and i did not follow the dropped in lining and that's on the instruction i followed the tutorial um her they use kind of they don't like trapped in lining so i me too so i followed the layers and i did not put any other extra packet because i don't really need it because i prefer like small pouches in my bag rather than use the packets i like bags i seldom use those packets but it depends actually um yes and i created this today just today i fully finished this strap because i run out i don't have the one inch a swivel hook so i will totally be, be in broken and then yeah um the pattern um gives you a certain amount of length but i don't want that because sometimes i want to adjust my strap so i added more length to my strap and then use this buckle to adjust it so let me demonstrate it here it is guys I like the crossbody in every bag. I always use the this strap for what's the thing crossbody strap because I like to wear my handbags this way. All my handbags. I used to like to wear that. I don't. I sometimes carry it like that, but you know, most of the time, I want my hands one, two hands free. So I'm sorry if I look if my tummy is big. That's why I'm trying to do OMAD to get rid of extra fat but i'm working on it guys i'm not pregnant i just look like i'm pregnant but this is it i want to make this bag again with a different color combination um going to do just one a very good hardware uh i i've ordered already a set of gold hardwares that they're nice quality and going to make another one like this and just have to figure out what kind of material i know it's vinyl i want i like vinyl my machine can handle it and make another one like this you know he can i can make more bags as many as i can in one design but yeah i will provide the link of the tutorial and the link of the part to the pattern for this one if you're interested to make your own macy bowler bag but this is my recent finished and i'm gonna I'm going to use this um, pretty soon next time somewhere but here it is guys here it is so nice do you like it leave um your comment below if you like this bag if you think it's a nice combination or what but here yeah. i like bowler bags <laughs> That's all for this video. I have a lot of costage to um, update to share with you, but that will be in my next video soon. I don't know when yet, but I enjoyed this and I'm going to make a, a pouch that has the same combination because I have extra of this fabric that it, that is enough for the pouch and this so I can have a set, a bag and a pouch uh, that will be on my next if i have time but not this again but thanks for watching guys that's all for this video and please um subscribe this is mainly a cross stitch channel but sometimes i put other stuff here and happy stitching and see you in my next video bye guys <music>